one of the reasons why I love films so much is that through films, you can see some of the craziest things that you never thought you would see. You might have been having some kind of weird imaginations in your mind that you've not been able to see in real life just because of how graphic and bizarre they are. But through films, you can see those things. And honestly, I saw something in this film that I have wondered how it will look like. It is kind of a weird thing. I have wondered how it will look like. And I saw that shit portrayed in this film and I was like, Woo! That was exactly how I thought it was going to be. And that is stamping someone's balls with an eye heel shoe. Whew! That was one image I was not ready for. But I wondered how that thing would look like. And I saw it in this film and I was freaked out. <laughs> but I enjoyed seeing it. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, everyone. In this video, I want to talk about Maxine. Maxine is the third film in this horror trilogy that features Pearl, X, and now Maxine. I saw those first two movies and I loved some more than the others. Honestly, the one I loved the most was Pearl because of how it was portrayed. It's an horror film, but it was portrayed in a way that feels very strange for an horror film. Not strange in a bad way, but strange in a good way. And I just love the weirdness of it and the inventiveness of it. And honestly, that film is my favorite film from this trilogy. And after I saw that film, I was excited to see the other films. I saw um, X, and it was not as good as Pearl, but I still enjoyed it. And now Maxine is out, and just like X, it was not as good as Pearl. But this review is not about Pearl. This film follows the story of Maxine, a porn star that wants to become a film actress. And this film is linked to the second film titled X. It is like a continuation of um, Maxine's story from that film. And this film was a film that just had me feeling kind of way. <laughs> on some ends, I like some things I saw in the way some things were portrayed. And on the other side, some things just felt confusing and out of place for me. First off, the performances from this film. Oof. The performances were fantastic. Like, that is something you expect with the kind of caliber of actors that are in this film. Actors like Giancarlo Esposito, Kevin Bacon, Elizabeth Ebiki, Bobby Cannavale, and the RC is also in this film. All those actors delivered fantastic performances. And it almost felt like they were having fun playing their characters. And it was something that just heightened the greatness of their performances. And seeing Giancarlo Esposito in this kind of film, someone that I've mostly known as Ghost Frank, in this kind of role or something that was a breath of fresh air and i liked seeing it and the way he played it i enjoyed his performance but i can't talk about the performances without talking about the main star of this film mia god as maxine her performances in the first two movies were fantastic and she just continued on that trend and gave another fantastic performance the way she played her character in this film you could see that the someone that is trying to move forward in her life but at the same time her past is wanting her and you can just see the conflict on her face and how she's trying to move past it and deal with all those things and it was something that she just portrayed so brilliantly Miyago's performance was so good in this film this film was set in the 80s and that is something that i would not normally mention but the fact that it was set in the 80s and the way the filmmaking made it feel like it was in the 80s was something that i really appreciated because the cinematography makes you feel like you are in that 80s period it captures the essence of that world the nostalgia of that world it captures it so brilliantly and the cinematography of it just heightens it it's like the cinematographer and the filmmaker, they wanted to make this film feel like it was a film from that era. Like the special effects, the framing, the shots, the editing, all those things just made that film feel like it was a film that was made in the 80s and honestly just amplified the greatness of the film. The cinematography of it was brilliant. The filmmaker and the cinematographer, they knew exactly what they wanted to achieve with it and they achieved it brilliantly. It was something that I really liked to this film. And if you've seen the other two movies in this trilogy, that is X and Pearl, you'll know that those other movies, they have like a distinct cinematography. Like the kind of cinematography you see in Pearl is different from the kind of cinematography you see in X, and it's also different from the kind of cinematography you see in this film. And that's something I just appreciated. It made those films feel like their own identity, even though it is stories that features the same character in different time periods. So just something that was done well that just made this film feel like it is its own thing and it's showing another side of that same character and it was just a brilliant choice honestly this old trilogy is an horror trilogy all the movies have this horror elements in them and they all feel like they're horror films but this one doesn't feel much like an horror film it feels more like a crime mystery thriller it doesn't feel like an horror film yes it has horror elements in it but it doesn't feel like an horror film and that's not a bad thing it's just something that just seemed 
kind of strange because those other two movies they felt like horror movies you know that yes i'm watching an horror movie and like i said in this film you see some horrific things yes but they don't feel like an horror movie and that is something that just felt different it wasn't a bad thing it was just something i noticed in this film and speaking of the crime mystery thriller of it it had a very good mystery because you are following this mystery of a serial killer and that mystery keeps you intrigued you want to know more about this thing you are wondering why all these things are happening and the thriller of it just intrigues you and keeps you on the edge of your seat and i think that was just a brilliant choice for the filmmaker to take this film in a crime thriller genre and so something that it might not work for some people for some other people it will work i am basically in the middle i like some aspects of it but i didn't like other aspects of it speaking of things that i did not like about this film the third act of this film felt strange and not in a good way <laughs> the third act of the film felt like it was a different movie it felt like i was watching a completely different movie some characters started feeling like cartoonish characters they were saying some things that was just unrealistic and felt very very strange because I was like, wait, is this this character I've been seeing throughout this movie? It just felt like they were making some decisions and seeing some things that just felt completely strange with this film. And at some point, that third act of the film just got kind of confusing and honestly took me out of the experience. It's not a bad thing like that. It's just something that when you see it, it might just confuse you a little bit and you might be wondering why they are making some kind of decisions like this. And yeah, it's just something that I did not like with this film. And the third act. Overall, I feel like this film was the least in this trilogy. My favorite in this trilogy, like I said earlier, is Pearl. And this one did not live up to the greatness of Pearl, but it was not a completely bad movie. You'll see it and there will be some things that you enjoy about it. This film is a film that I feel like we have audiences divided because some people are going to like this film so much, they will feel like, yes, this is one of the best films I've seen this year. I don't feel that way, <laughs> but I don't think it was a completely bad movie. But some other people would think that this movie was just completely bad and they did not like anything about it. I can see those two perspectives on this film. Me personally, I'm in the middle. I don't like it completely and I don't hate it completely. <laughs> yeah, that's how I feel about it. So have you seen Maxine? What do you think about it? Comment below and let me know. And have you seen the old trilogy, X, Maxine and Pearl? Which of them is your favorite or which one do you like the most? Comment below and let me know. If this is your first time on my channel, please subscribe to my channel for more contents like this. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Cheers.